Yep, I'm on Monte Capani, 1,009 meters up on the island of Elba, the highest point on the island. And this is where Napoleon chose to be exiled, way back when Europe was all scuffles and fighting. But it's all different now. We're just one big happy family in Europe. So I've chosen two Germans to come with me on this ride, Holger Meyer and Karin Ella. Hello. Hello. We've made our way to Marciana on the north of the island. Today we're intending to climb a couple of hundred meters, then traverse around and join the GTE. But we've stumbled across this, perhaps one of the most unusual uplift services in the whole of Europe. I just hope my vice-like grip can stay vice-like long enough. No one ever knows what a new day brings. No one can change the past. So that's coming down from the lift. Pretty tech. It's only a short step though. And then we get onto a really good traverse. Or well, at least we think it's going to be a really good traverse. Basically, that's been three hours since we got off that got off that crazy little lift. Yeah, if you're thinking that by taking the lift we somehow cheated on this route, you're wrong. It's been about an hour of bike carrying. Hey! Yeah, I mentioned the wall once. I think I got away with it. I was lost in the night, feel alone and afraid. Then you lit up my sky, you wailed up, wailed in me. Fill me with your love, I fell for you, fell for you. You apprehended my soul. There's about 150 kilometers of trail out here on Capolo Veri. Unfortunately, about 100 of it is Jeep track. But never mind, there are some good bits of single track. Yeah, I'm on the World Cup route, the black route here, and I'm at corner number 14. Every junction that you come to on these marked trails will have a signpost and a number on it, so it's very easy to find your way around. I've climbed up a beautiful single track and I've had a look around the corner and it descends down Jeep track. So actually I'm chopping and changing the World Cup route and making it my World Cup route. I'm going back down the single track, way more fun. If you want to know the best bit of the trails to ride, nip in here, this shop just on the start of the trails. Go in here, ask for Simone, tell him I sent you. He won't have a clue what you're talking about, but tell him that anyway. Oh no. I don't want to get lost again, Dan. I don't want to argue. Well, you started it. No, you started it. You invaded Poland. Now yeah, we're on the section of the GTE between Porto, Azuro and Cavo at the far end. There's about a thousand meters of climbing today. Well here we are at the beach, which on any other day would uh, suit me fine. But unfortunately the route we're following isn't supposed to go to the beach. We're going to have to find a way out. We're on the last climb of the day I hope. A little diversion to the beach. Didn't really pay off, there were no ice creams there. Waste of time.
Well, that's the, uh, that's the bike riding over. European Harmony is getting to me a little bit. Pop down to the beach for an early dip. Little bit of me time on my own. Hello. Hello.